Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we're going to be doing something pretty ridiculous. I bought a box or a bag of new 3DS parts. So the name new 3DS isn't me being clickbait. A lot of people have said that for some reason. The new 3DS is actually the name of the DS. I picked this up for £4.95. And just to give you an idea, the postage alone was £3. So for £1.95, technically, I bought a bag of new 3DS parts. Now, I should be completely open and honest with you guys and say that I have already opened this and I started sort of um, putting it back together because I didn't know if this was going to be worth a video. I didn't know if I was going to make a video on this and try and fix this or try and fix the other one that I've um, made a couple of videos on because that one has various different problems, uh, included rounding screws, missing screws, snap screws. So I just thought if I buy this, I might be able to use this uh, housing on my one that I've been making loads of videos on and then maybe make a slightly better condition new 3DS. But it turns out this one had a few signs of life, which gave me some hope. Let's see what we've got. So um, the listing was very, very vague. There was th six pictures in total, um, three of which were of the exact same thing. So here it is, it's a white one. Uh, we've got the face plates, there's a bunch of screws flying all over the place. I have a bad feeling there's one falling on the floor right here. So we'll put that back. Um, we've got both the face plates, both of which look pretty good. A couple scratches, but that's definitely not a big deal. We've got the motherboard here. Uh, these on their own are worth a fair amount. So if I wanted to just sell this, if it wasn't gonna you know, get fixed, then I'd definitely, definitely make my money back. Um, so we've got the touch screen here or the bottom screen, I should say. Uh, we've got the battery, we've got the micro SD card reader. Uh, this is the cart slot reader. We don't know if that even works yet. I haven't tested that. Um, we have got the stylus. We have the power button, the analog stick, and a few more screws. And that is pretty much our lot. So definitely all good things. The inside of the uh, 3DS, although very, very dirty, doesn't appear to be scratched, although I'm not gonna clean it until this is all put together for the sake of um, a nice rewarding sort of feeling at the end. The first port of call, I think, is just gonna be put this together, see what sort of uh, condition it's gonna be in, see what works, see what doesn't work, and then we'll sort of go from there. So let's go ahead and do that. So, moment of truth then, does it power on? I'm pretty certain it is gonna power on because as I said, I did have a little look at it, which is a shame. I wish I'd sort of looked at it completely raw. Um, okay, so immediately that happens. I'm not sure why it does that. Um, one thing I have done is unhooked the joystick because it wasn't doing anything anyway. Obviously it had that um, broken you know, bit of plastic sticking in there. It seems to calm down. This seems to calm down um, after a little while, as you can see. 
it is now okay. Um, I've ordered another joystick because obviously I want to use this. I'm probably going to sell the other one that I did loads of work to um, just because it's it's still not in great condition and this is pretty immaculate. Um, unfortunately the screen has a load of damage but I do believe it might be a screen protector and what I want to do is just put that to the test. Oh there we go. Oh my goodness me. Okay it is a screen protector. So underneath it is immaculate. Wowee. Okay, I do need to give it a clean, as do I need to give the top screen a clean as well, because as you can see, it's covered in fingerprints. But let's just see what else, if anything, is wrong with this thing. What we shall do, first things first, because it's quite important, is see if it plays a game. I'm not sure which way this goes in. There we go. Does it recognize the game? If it does, it will play it, I'm sure. There we go. Immediately. Amazing. Right, before we do that, oh. This software is restricted by the parental controls Oh no, okay, that's going to be annoying. We're going to have to get rid of that. Okay, so we need to remove the parental controls thing, which is quite simple. We're just going to parental controls, uh, forget pin, and then um, I forgot, and we should have a code. We're not going to be able to connect to the internet. There we go. Oh no, that's not it. Maybe it won't give me the code. There we go. Okay, there's the code. So then you go on to this website, mkey.saltHacks.org. You can see it up there. And if you just device type, choose that. I think 3DS is what we want. Um, system date. So it's the first of the first. Um, so but that's probably because the battery has just come out of it. So we just set that to the first of the first. And then inquiry number is to go we should then be able to get a code which we will have a look up here so there it is mine is 52997 and if we click ok master key confirmed and i do feel like a hacker right now so we're going to go over to here um, choose a four digit pin very very simple zero 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 okay so the final thing to do then is to reset it which to do that you go into other settings go all the way over to the end format system memory enter the pin and then after this we'll be able to check if the um, 3d actually works so I'm just going to get a charger as well because we're in red right now so back into the system settings slide that up to the top click next okay so the 3d obviously works I'm gonna do this off camera real quick Wow I absolutely cannot believe it. I have completely put this thing back together. Um, in total, there was three screws missing. It was three tri-wing screws, and they were for the SD card, um, the little SD card reader that, that goes in the back. However, it's held down by the faceplate anyway, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to affect it or anything. I haven't got an SD card plugged in, uh, but the brick connector holds it in fine anyway. So. I need to find some replacement screws for that. It also didn't have the two rubber feet that go into the little back part there, but that's probably not a big deal either. Um, obviously the screws are in there and it's nice and intact. This thing is absolutely in mint condition. Um, I can't think why anyone would sell this for four pounds. Um, I can't think why this was taken apart to begin with. Um, you know, my guess is it had a parental control on it um, and it was sold on eBay. My guess is a father or a mother um, tried to fix this for their son and couldn't and then just thought, screw it, we'll whack it up on eBay and buy them another one um, because there's no damage to it. Obviously, the only thing being uh, the damage was that joystick. I need to find out why the cursor, if you will, sort of goes all over the place when you turn it on initially. Uh, that could be down to the fact that there is now no joystick plugged in, um, or it could be something else. So that's something that is just going to need um, a little bit of testing. But other than that, I'm super, super happy with this thing. Seriously, um, over the moon with it. To pick up a DS um, now for, for four quid is just absolutely ridiculous. As you can see, it is going a little bit crazy, but that does calm down um, eventually. And then there we go, now it works absolutely fine. So I'll buy a new joystick, I'll whack that in there, I'll keep you updated via my Facebook page if you wanna join that, link's in the description. Um, thank you very much for watching this, I really hope you have enjoyed. Um, this probably isn't gonna be a regular series because I can't imagine I'm gonna find many working consoles in a bag, but if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing 
pick up my t-shirts and hats, link is in the description, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.